Hey, what's up guys? Tetrak here. I just wanted to show you guys a quick uh, controller setup I had for Steam on Heroes of the Storm. Um, seems to be working really well. Uh, I'll show you real quick the um, what I have in the Steam setup here. So, in controller config, um, I have a standard setting which I can then copy over and then create different um, action sets for different heroes. Um, right now I have it on Artanis. Um, but your right click is going to be your movement, right? And then a full pull because I'm using uh, gyro for mouse, I'm not using thumb pads. And it actually is pretty accurate. My only thing is when you can get your hands in a weird position, you know, because you're moving around a lot. And uh, what I did was on the uh, right trigger, because right trigger is movement. Um, I also did a right. So soft pull does the movement, right? And then full pull, what it does is locks it so I can, it turns the gyro off so I can adjust my controller, my hand and get it back to a, uh, a basic, um, comfortable position for the controller to be in. So works pretty nice. It's got hip fire on, so I can, it skips over the movement. If I, you do it fast enough and see, I'm clicking it right now and there's no movement, but if I didn't have hip fire on, it would actually move to that position as I was locking the camera, which can be bad. So, that actually was a pretty neat little thing that I think that um, I used because I was trying to figure out a way to do that. But I had to put an empty um, command in here, which is comma, in order for hip fire to work. Uh, on the other one, um, my soft pull is actually a... Um, a modifier so if I hold it down it slows it also slows the uh, the mouse down so that way it doesn't move as fast if I need it to but it also is a modifier so it can change different um, actions of, of different uh, setups like the buttons or maybe the pads um, and then full pull is R with hip fire and normal so basically that means that it'll skip all the soft pull if I do it fast enough. Waypoints, you can do that by just clicking on that and set waypoints. Uh, I'm debating, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the, this one yet, still, because I know I got two ultimates here, but this scene, I just recently changed it to here just to see how it feels and it actually feels pretty good. The um, talents, uh, how I have that set up is it's a modifier for the right thumb pad. So down here, without the modifier, it does your one, two, three, four on, on here. Um, I'm gonna change this to directional pad though, because when you set it up to uh, pies, it's a little better. Um, but if you go into the mode shift here, you can see it does all the left controls, so you can choose your talents really quickly. So if I'm holding the control down, instead of having to move my mouse, I can just go like this. And then I say I want psionic in, uh, synergy and just click it. You can see it selected it. So um, works fairly well there. Uh, now, as for the rest of these, these are your, your abilities. This is your camera pan. Um, so if I want to pan the camera, camera around, now I do have it locked character so it doesn't go outside the range of the character. I found that works really well in a controller scheme. I don't typically use that with a mouse and keyboard, but uh, that way I don't get too lost um, as I'm moving things around, you know, because just jump off your character. And uh, as I'm getting used to this, I might eventually unlock it. But for right now, I have it locked. Um, the touch menu here is going to be your assist end. So Basically, um, I can uh, bring up uh, character sheets. Um, I'm going to change this because this isn't working. But you got your defend, right? So wherever my mouse is, I can uh, put, click these. Um, the and it works pretty good. Let's see, what else do I have? I think 
that's about it. If I need to um, scroll, this is a mode shift, so this also does mouse wheel up and down. So um, if I'm a, you can see in game, it's scrolling in and out. Not that you, you use that much, but in menus, it works really well. And also the, what is it, the right, is it the left click? I'm trying to think. Um, so the left click doesn't work unless you're um, you're holding the mode shift down. And then so if I go into a menu here, uh, I have to hold the modifier. Sorry, not the mod the modifier on the uh, left trigger, and then I can select it by hitting the right trigger. Um, I did that because the left click gets used, but not that much, and so. Um, you get used to it after a while by just holding the modifier and then just using your other trigger. You could put it on the left click, but it doesn't really seem to make that big a difference uh, if you're trying to, uh, so you don't use it that much in combat. Um, at least, I don't use it that much. I'm sure the pros do, but not me. So anyways, that's a quick uh, look at my controller setup. I'm going to put it up on the, uh, the workshop uh, con controller config, so you guys, if you want to give it a try, give it a go. It's actually pretty fun. It seems to work pretty well. Um, I've done some quick matches with it. Nothing, uh, nothing too serious, because obviously this is kind of a couch gameplay. And uh, I'm not doing any, like, competitive stuff with it. But I think eventually, you get good enough, you probably can do some competitive in there um, after a while. All right, guys. You have a good day. Um, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Bye.